welcome to Lark University Virtual Commencement 2021. I'm Dr. Rudy Ettrick, president of Lark University, and I will be guiding today's activities. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honorables, spectabiles, professores, trustees, honored guests, members of the faculty, colleagues, our distinguished graduates of both our colleges, the College of Biomedical Sciences and the College of Pharmacy, our class of 2021, Lions, welcome. In these unprecedented times, it is my very great pleasure to welcome you all to Lark University commencement. I extend my warmest congratulations to all those receiving degrees and certificates today and acknowledge the support that has helped you along the way. To all the family and friends out there, either celebrating with you or just being connected from a distance to watch and think of you, graduates, as you celebrate this moment, thank you. Thank you for the encouragement you have offered and in many cases for the sacrifices you have made so that your student could earn the degree or certificate that they will take today. At Lark University, we are proud and strong, proud to educate the next generation of health professionals and strong in providing them top education and the right tools to excel in their field. Proud to have one of the most dedicated faculty you can imagine Strong not only in education, but also in research, striving to become a leading health professions university with a strong research focus. Class of 2021, all graduates, we are connected today in this virtual world to participate in the praise and wonder at your achievements. And those are not small. Now that we experience a successful vaccination campaign and see a light at the end of the tunnel, a success that many of you contributed to, you will always stand out as the class that had nearly half of their graduate studies in a worldwide pandemic under extraordinary circumstances, certainly much different from what one would expect from student life and campus learning. Today, you join our alumni and as they did, you soon will find your place in our healthcare system and continue to pursue your dreams and most importantly, support our communities. You might already know that LU has an alumni organization. You all will become proud members today and I encourage you to stay connected with your alma mater and being part of our Larkin family. Also Larkin University has only a short history we have a legacy, a legacy embedded in our mission and vision and formed by our communities here in South Florida. Over 200 years ago, when Florida was still Spanish and mostly unsettled, the Seminole Indians gave the Afro-American refugees escaping from slavery and the southern states of the then US a new home, a new family, and an opportunity to become a valuable and respected member of their society. Since then, South Florida became a new home for refugees from different parts of the world who had a Rican immigration after the Spanish-American War, Cubans escaping from communism after Fidel Castro took over, the people of Haiti fleeing political repression and poverty in the Duvalier regime, or recently Venezuelans seeking a better future for their children outside their failed state. I myself have a Czechoslovak heritage and it is not by chance that the Václav Havel Center for Human Rights, founded by the late playwright president of Czechoslovakia, Václav Havel, who led the Velvet Revolution that reinstalled democracy in Central Europe, is located here in Miami. We can be proud of our diversity here in South Florida and here at Larkin University. Remember the pre-COVID days when we all were daily on campus, wasn't that an amazing colorful crowd of people? I strongly urge you when you now go out to this world 
do not see things black and white, either gray or pink, but use the whole colorful spectrum of the rainbow. Yes, our motto is proud and strong, and this is what Lark University stands for. Proud of our diversity and strong in supporting our communities. Larkin Lions never forget this second part, supporting our communities. Never forget where you came from and never forget to give back. Make the world a better place. This day is yours and it is the beginning of a new exciting chapter of your journey. Now I would like to welcome the chairman of our board of trustees, Mr. Mark Kent. Mr. Kent, the virtual stage is yours. Congratulations, graduating class of 2021. As chairman of the board of trustees, I am uniquely honored to be able to say congratulations to you for all of your hard work, your efforts and your endurance. And so on behalf of the board of trustees for Larkin University, congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for these encouraging and optimistic words. Let me now introduce and welcome today's keynote speaker, Florida State Senator Chevron Chef Jones. Mr. Jones is an educator, public servant, and consensus builder who gets results on the issues facing Florida families. Growing up in Carroll City, Jones' parents instilled in him and his brothers the values of education, faith, and service to a community. He recognized from a young age the power of education as the great equalizer a foundation that drove Chevron into teaching to help students reach their full potential. While teaching AP chemistry in Broward County at Florida Atlantic University High School, Jones' leadership positioned the school as first in the state for its 100% pass rate of the science and, of course, EOC exam. Jones went on to found Lead Nation, a top South Florida nonprofit organization committed to young leadership development and social entrepreneurship training, and is now pursuing his PhD in educational leadership at Florida Atlantic University. Jones' firsthand look at the inequities in education and society at large propelled him to enter public service. In 2012, he was elected to the Florida House, championing meaningful bipartisan legislation, including two consecutive bills to secure dignity for incarnated women, statewide expansion of a clean syringe exchange program, safety and oversight for athletic coaches for young athletic teams, and ensuring, ensuring transparency and accountability via police body cameras. Today, Jones proudly serves Florida's 35th state, uh, Senate District, which includes portion of Broward and Miami-Dade counties. Senator Jones served on President Barack Obama's College Promise Task Force and is an active member of the Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity, Incorporated Young Elected Officials Network, Leadership Florida Connect, Class 32 Leadership Broward, Class 27, the Council of State Governments, Tolls Fellowship Program, and Millennial Action Projects Florida Future Caucus. Jones has received widespread recognition for his service, including acknowledgement as Florida Young Democrat of the Year, Broward Parent Teachers Association's Legislator of the Year, a Congressional Political Institute honoree, ICABA's 100 Most Accomplished Caribbean Americans, Gulf Coast Magazine's Top 40 Under 40, and Legacy Magazine's South Florida 50's Most Powerful and Influential Black Leaders. Representative Jones, our virtual stage is yours. Thank you, President Etich, all the families, friends, staff, faculty, and most importantly, our graduates. First and foremost, allow me to be one of many to congratulate you on all of your amazing academic accomplishments. Believe it or not, you are a groundbreaker. And with this victory on the horizon, now you are a true academic, ready to apply your newly acquired intellect to enhance and advance this rapidly changing world in which we live. This world you all thought would welcome scholars with open and warm arms has changed in ways we could have never dreamed and honestly, even prepared for, especially 
with the constant cancellation of in-person ceremonies, celebrations, and annual traditions that help boost morale and express our true values. Others I know are suffering immensely from the loss of loved ones, newly and unexpected financial instability, and the uncertainty of the future of all industries, including here in the great state of Florida. The sudden switch to remote learning for most of us to close this academic year has created a new reality we must all continue to adjust to as we make our journey into this new normal. In the middle of this global transformation, it is very important to pause and reflect as we see your pliancy, savvy, and tenacity. You have met all the theoretical requirements of your program, and we will contrive to immediately learn the larger life lessons of nothing is guaranteed and the ambiguity of tomorrow. Your adaptation and pragmatic preparation for the future is going to demand down-to-earth and efficient skills that dwell beyond face-to-face -face and virtual classroom schooling. Strive and adversity can be truly challenging. They can knock you to your confines and may even push you beyond these boundaries. The calamity will also confront you with a plight in which all aspiration seems misplaced or lost altogether. When this occurs, it's crucial to prompt yourself on how paramount it is to keep fighting and to keep progressing forward. It's necessary to be cognizant that this intensive and demanding experiment will strengthen your prosperity in the long run. If you welcome the challenge and use this understanding to advance resilience, you will stand unshakable like the great Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King does today looking over the National Mall in our nation's capital city. Even more notably, you will use the embers and remnants that the world when we call life left behind in order to frame the groundwork for something more valuable and suitable to your needs and wants. Graduates, doesn't it sound good to hear that? You are now well positioned to pick up the remonstrance of today to make a better destiny for tomorrow. And I'll cheer you as a Larkin University alumni to help propel this university and universities across this nation to enroll more students of color, students from low income backgrounds and first generation college goers. I'll conclude by asking you this. Who will the buildings on this campus be designated after years from now? Who will be the future members serving in my body, the Florida Senate or maybe the Florida House? Who will develop our next vaccine and save billions of lives? Who will be destined to address future graduates at future commencements? My bet is on you, the catalyst in this room. Thank you, Larkin, for always welcoming me on your campus and into this space. And congratulations to the class of 2021. Thank you once more, Representative Jones. I now call to the stage Dr. Marty Eccles, Dean of the oldest college of our university, the College of Biomedical Sciences and professor. Dr. Eccles will introduce and present the Master of Biomedical Sciences students. Thank you, Dr. Etrich. Distinguished guests, faculty, alumni, students, parents, and friends, on behalf of the College of Biomedical Sciences, I welcome you to this exciting day of celebration. Today, we are blessed to come together to honor and recognize the achievements of the class of 2021. I'd like to take a moment to express my sincerest appreciation and gratitude to all of you who helped in any way in the realization of their purpose or the pursuit of their dreams. Commencement is a time for us to celebrate a milestone in the lives of the class of 2021. Graduation is about endings and beginnings, a celebration of achievement and the commencement of a transition into a new chapter of your life as young, productive, responsible adults. As I look out today, it seems like only yesterday we were meeting on Zoom, afraid to talk to each other, becoming classmates, and embarking on a very scary journey together. Today, you've become great friends, 
study partners, emotionally supporting each other, and planning how to make your lifelong dreams come true. I'm overwhelmed with pride at your success and support during the worst health crisis of our nation. You took the time to work, to help others, volunteer on research projects, attend class, and study for many hours. I am amazed at how 20 students learning together have been able to become the highest achieving class in the College of Biomedical Sciences ever. I'm even more amazed at how you did this over Zoom. I can't put into words how proud I am of your accomplishment. This celebration represents your triumph over rigorous academic training and challenges, as well as the culmination of hard work, sweat, and tears to achieve academic excellence and invaluable effort to grow into the person that you want to become. Your diploma will validate to everyone your accomplishment during the COVID-19 pandemic. I want to challenge each of you to use this diploma as a reminder of how extraordinary you are and what you are capable of achieving. It has truly been my honor to serve as your dean. In closing, I'd like to share a Cherokee saying which, with you, which has guided me through my life. May the stars of the sky carry away your sadness. May flowers fill your heart with beauty. May hope wipe away your tears. And above all, may silence make you strong. Aho. Good evening, friends, faculty, staff, alumni, and the amazing class of 2021. My name is Gianella Latori, and I am very proud to be a part of the graduating class of the Master's Program of Biomedical Sciences here at Larkin University. First and foremost, all graduates, please give yourself a big pat on the back. What we were able to accomplish given our unprecedented circumstances is nothing short of extraordinary and certainly worth celebrating. Today, I would like to share a brief portion of my journey. This time last year, just like most of you, I was applying to numerous master's programs to better prepare myself for a career in healthcare. As decisions came rolling in and no offers came, it seemed clear that I was not fit for this type of path. My dreams were about to be crushed. By absolute chance, I directly reached out to Larkin University, specifically our Dean, Dr. Eccles. We ended up having about an hour long conversation about myself, my struggles, my passions, and what I ultimately wanted to accomplish in my future career. By the end, she pretty much knew my entire life story. We love to talk, what can I say? Dr. Eccles mentioned that Larkin still had a couple of seats open and encouraged me to apply. At this point, I started to feel a semblance of hope. I knew I had nothing left to lose and I tried my luck. Well, suffice to say, Dr. Eccles and Larkin University took a chance on me and the rest is history. Now I am honored to stand here today and be a part of the incredible, resilient, and exceptional graduating class of 2021. This past year, we have all faced challenges that might have felt insurmountable. Semesters filled with studying and cramming, trying to figure out Dr. Rivera's group assignments, Dr. Badeau's DPAs, Dr. Perez's exams, all the while adapting to the new world the pandemic brought about. Even though we had to work remotely this past year, I think I can speak for all of us when I say that I would not have survived if not for our class group texts and study sessions. We should all feel proud of the effort we put into this program and the knowledge we have attained. I know that I have not met most of you in person, 
But at the end of the day, we all share the same passions. For that, I am eternally grateful. As it is not every day that you get to be surrounded by remarkable individuals with the same goals. As a whole, we each have had a unique journey that has led us on the path of helping others. Our past does not define us, but what we have done in pursuit of our future has enabled us to become better future healthcare professionals for the patients of tomorrow. I am beyond grateful that Larkin University has given us that second chance to show that we are capable of achieving our dreams. And hey, who doesn't enjoy having a master's degree under their belt? I would like to finish my remarks by saying that it is my hope that we always find the self-respect to recognize when we need to take a breath. Have courage to move through uncertainty and be honest about whether you are allowing yourself to grow. Showing the vulnerability to keep on pushing through this arduous journey of pursuing your future healthcare professions is not weakness, but proof of growth. The best thing we can do as people, as friends, as partners, and as future healthcare professionals is to value empathy and acceptance more than we value the status quo. It has been an absolute pleasure and honor to go through this part of the journey with all of you. Being a part of the Lion community has definitely taught me that the class of 2021 is intelligent, empathetic, brave, and resilient. Thank you for choosing me to represent our class today. I am beyond proud of all of us. We did it. And most importantly, we will keep on doing it. Congratulations, class of 2021. Caroline Alves. Sayema Dice Badei. Cassandra Damoni. Natalie D. Duran. Deepak Goyal. Tracy Horston. Kasmar Innocent. Chivine Johnson. Shruhan Kaya. Nashka Lane. Janela K. La Torre. Hena B. Patel. Brianna Lee Perdue. Christian Ramos. Crystal Bramsaran. Stephanie Johnson. Summer P. Banivelt. Mackenzie A. Youngs. Will all the candidates for the master's degree please stand? Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the Lark University College of Biomedical Sciences and the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the Master of Science degree with all of the rights, honors, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Please move your tassel from the right side to the left. Please be seated. Congratulations, graduates of the College of Biomedical Sciences. I now call to the stage Dr. Ruth Namir, the Dean of the College of Pharmacy, that today graduates their third class of Doctor of Pharmacy students. Dr. Namir will introduce and present our Doctor of Pharmacy class. Dr. Namir, the stage is yours. Welcome, graduating class of 2021, to a graduation ceremony you will most likely remember as the year you did not get a graduation in the traditional sense. Welcome to the family and friends of graduates in this 2021 class of pharmacy. It is an honor and privilege to welcome you in my role as the Dean of the College of Pharmacy. Graduation is a time to celebrate. We have much to celebrate in 2021, mainly that 2020 is past. We celebrate that each of you will join the profession of pharmacy and become colleagues 
working to improve the health of a nation. It is an exciting time to be entering the profession. New opportunities for practice and for making an impact are more available to you than most any graduating class before. You have worked hard over the past three years to get to this day. I do not know the struggles and sacrifices you have made to get here. I wish I could tell you that they will be the last. They are not. Life is a journey for each of us, and each of us travels through with the support and love of our friends and family. The leadership and faculty of the Larkin College of Pharmacy wish you much success and happiness in your life. I hope you choose to live an extraordinary life because it is within each of you to do so. Choose to be happy when life is hard. Choose to live even on those days that you would really rather stay in bed with your head underneath the covers. Choose to love because the rewards are great. Choose to be the best pharmacist you know how to be, and you will be rewarded with the kindness and respect that you give to others. Previously at the hooding ceremony held for graduates, I was privileged to recognize three individuals for excellence. First, the Professor of the Year recognition. This year, Dr. Sharif Hafez was selected by the graduating class as the Professor of the Year. Dr. Hafez has been the advisor for this class over the past three years. Congratulations, Dr. Hafez. Dr. Taylor Harris received the Dean's Award. This recognition is awarded to a student in the graduating class who exemplifies the core values of Larkin University's College of Pharmacy. Congratulations, Dr. Harris. Dr. Scott Arigi received the Viatris Excellence in Pharmacy Award. For those of you who are curious about the name, Mylan and Pfizer Upjohn have combined to form Viatris. The recognition is awarded to an individual in the top 25% of the class who demonstrates a high personal motivation and possesses a unique ability to communicate drug information. Congratulations, Dr. Arigi. Last but not least, I want to assure each of you that we will be here at Larkin to support you in the near and long term and are looking forward to news of your successes throughout the years. Congratulations, Class of 2021, and my very best wishes for all of you. Hello, Class of 2021 and their friends and family. Thank you for the opportunity to speak on behalf of my class. And I would like to start by quoting the Odyssey by Homer. A man who has been through bitter experiences and traveled far enjoys even his sufferings after a time. I know this has been a long, hard road, not only for my classmates, but for the friends and family that have supported them along the way. Although I'm glad for it to be ending, I'm already missing the sense of camaraderie that was forged between us. Celebrating the relief after a test, whether it be at Duffy's, or at Chili's, or at that other place that's right next to campus. Some tests were harder than others. I remember in particular, Dr. Boylan's OTC, Dr. Walker's renal, Dr. Santibanez's cardio three, Dr. Santibanez's ID, Dr. Walker's special populations, and of course, Baptist Hospital's oncology. But through it all, those wonderful people and James, that made us our capacitos, gave us the energy to keep on fighting. Then our didactic classes ended, and we started with our advanced practice rotations during a COVID pandemic. And all across South Florida, Larkin students were preparing and administering COVID vaccines and being on the front lines of this pandemic to try to save as many lives as possible. I know nobody's rotation schedule is untouched. And honestly, I don't know how Dr. Marzello got us to all of our required rotations. But in the end, we were there. But we didn't just get through these rotations, we thrived in these rotations. I had the chance to talk to some preceptors and they told me what I had already known, that Larkin students are going to be exceptional pharmacists and that we are the best class that Larkin has ever seen. I believed right when I arrived at Larkin that our class of 2021 was as good as any class of 2021, not only in the state, but in the entire country. And I know that you all will agree with me. 
not only has our class won two statewide pharmacy competitions, not only do we finish in the top 16 in the entire country in a national pharmacy competition, not only did we triple the score of our summative exam for pharmacy knowledge, we're right now on the precipice of dramatically increasing our NAPLEX pass rate. Our accolades will not stop here. Through my time at Larkin, I have met the smartest, most perceptive people I've ever met in my entire life. I've met people who will use every avenue available to them to advocate for others who do not have a voice or do not have the confidence to speak out. I've met people with extensive pharmacy experience just waiting for the opportunity to put their expertise to use. I've gotten the chance to see my classmates' other talents. Some are good artists, while others can rock in front of their entire study groups. Pharmacy school can turn students into robots, only regurgitating information that is taught to them. Our pharmacy students never lost their unique behaviors, their idiosyncrasies that will not only bring value to their workplace, but also to their communities at large. I cannot wait to see what these pharmacists will be able to do in their careers. Speaking of the future, that is why we are here, is it not? Whether we made this decision for our parents, for our children, or just because we wanted to be the best version of ourselves, we chose to put forth the work that would get us to this point. And we are here. This is the moment that we have been waiting for. We have traveled far and have had our share of bitter experiences. But I, for one, enjoyed my time here. And I will miss it. Now let us go forth. Let us be the pioneers of tomorrow. Let us chart new and unprecedented avenues of pharmacy. And let us find the pathways to success that are only available to those with perseverance, those with wisdom, and those with the experience that Larkin has instilled in us. Thank you for taking the time. You guys have a great rest of the graduation. Dr. Paul Acosta. Dr. Sarah Alabasi. Dr. Edgar Alvarado. Dr. Emmeline Alvarez. Dr. Paola Antich. Dr. Malena Arancibia. Dr. Scott Arigi. Dr. Amir Assad. Dr. Wendy Diaz Bochamp. Dr. Maria Blancas. Dr. Erica Mabelian Blanco Ortiz. Dr. Priscilla Lynn Boateng. Dr. Silmeri Bonet Miranda. Dr. Jessica Bruno. Dr. Jaylene Bueno Marrero. Dr. Nat Cow. Dr. Sarah Shanawi. Dr. Ha Un Ellis Cho. Dr. Faria Tasneem Chowdhury. Dr. Rafael Kobian. Dr. Seely Cole. Dr. James Correa. Dr. Serene Daly. 
Dr. Yasinia Darwish. Dr. Andrea Duque. Dr. Zaina Fuad Eid. Dr. Sumra El Ahi. Dr. Jenny Flor Eliazar. Dr. Amanda Escoto. Dr. Samuel Esparza. Dr. Lisi Garcia. Dr. Ezekiel Garamon. Dr. Hoda Gorsreese. Dr. Taylor Harris. Dr. Carolee Hernandez. Dr. Priya Hira. Dr. Tevin Johnson. Dr. Z.E. Fei Liu. Dr. Andrew Lopez. Dr. Jonathan Maid. Dr. Narmeen Mandani. Dr. Damaris Manso. Dr. Orlando Marrero. Dr. Panahota Mavrakis. Dr. Vicente Miniet. Dr. Tasneem Mohammed. Dr. Eric Morla. Dr. Claudia Munoz. Dr. Sukina Nasser. Dr. Cesarina Annette Negrin. Dr. Liani Padron. Dr. Priyank Patel. Dr. George Pedraza. Dr. Kimoy Pemberton. Dr. Lily Perez Gonzalez. Dr. Jocelyn Perez. Dr. Fu Pham. Dr. Melanie Sindhu Reddy. Dr. Nadia Dadras Roshanger. Dr. Gerson Ruano. Dr. Hamada Salim. Dr. Daylin Sanchez. Dr. Jessica Estelle Senderkis. Dr. Sabir Sadiq. Dr. Claudia Simon. Dr. Jose Soto Gonzalez. Dr. Caitlin Stevens. Dr. Julian Thomas. Dr. Michelle Tran. Dr. Francis Udeji. Dr. Nestor Vesiana. Dr. Nicole Villanueva. Dr. Gerald Williams. Dr. Forrest Wilson. Most of you have been already hooded in our small in-person ceremony yesterday, but it's only now that the Doctor of Pharmacy degree will be actually conferred to you. Will all the candidates for the doctoral degree please stand? Upon the recommendation of the faculty of Larkin University and the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the Doctor of Pharmacy degree with all of the rights, honors, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Please move your tassel from the right side to the left. 
I would like to ask all graduates and pharmacists who are watching to recite the oath with me. I promise to devote myself to a lifetime of service to others through the profession of pharmacy. In fulfilling this vow, I will consider the welfare of humanity and relief of suffering my primary concerns. I will apply my knowledge, experience, and skills to the best of my ability to assure optimal outcomes for my patients. I will respect and protect all personal and health information entrusted to me. I will accept the lifelong obligation to improve my professional knowledge and competence. I will hold myself and my colleagues to the highest principles of our profession's moral, ethical, and legal conduct. I will embrace and advocate changes that improve patient care. I will utilize my knowledge, skills, experiences, and values to prepare the next generation of pharmacists. I take these vows voluntarily with the full realization of the responsibility with which I am entrusted by the public. Dear class of 2021 and all of your loved ones, I wish you much success in your future as pharmacists. You had great hurdles this past year and a half for which you will be better pharmacists as well as compassionate human beings. If you and your family recall almost three years ago during your white coat ceremony, I told them we would return you to them upon graduation. The pandemic may have brought you closer to them than you would have imagined. So now may be the time for you to move out on your own and start making a life for yourself and for your families. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Regardless what you choose to do with your doctor of pharmacy degree, I'm sure you will do well as you have many, many options. For those of you that have been studying for the NAPLEX exam over the past year, I encourage you to take it as soon as possible. For those that have not been studying over the past year, please wait until you are ready as the exam is not intended to be easy. Just ask your future col your past colleagues. Use the resources that you have, that your faculty have given you, as well as the many other resources that are available to you. The practice exams available on the NABP website will be the best predictor of your success. It has been my true honor and the highlight of my career to serve as your Dean for the majority of your time at Larkin University College of Pharmacy. As you go forward today, always give everything you have to serve your patients with dignity and respect. Also, help to prepare the next generation of pharmacists as your preceptors did for you. And always remember your alma mater by making donations whenever you feel you are in the situation to do so. I welcome you to our profession as a colleague, as you are no longer a student in the context of a pharmacy student. However, as lifelong learners, we will always be students. <clears throat> I love each and every one of you, and you will always be part of me, and I offer my advice to you as we move forward, as long as I'm able to. I hope each of you will stay in touch for many years to come. Congratulations, felicidades to all of you. Graduates, congratulations, and thank you all for your nominations for Faculty Preceptor of the Year. Dr. Juan Mosley, it is with great pleasure to announce that you have been selected for Preceptor of the Year Award. Congratulations. Thank you. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, intelligence plus character. That is the true goal of education. It's not just about the knowledge we gain. It's what we do with it. It's how we help one another. It's how we treat each other. Those are the things that will matter the most in the end. So to the class of 2021, uh, thank you for this great honor. It was truly a pleasure to assist you along this journey. 
know that the greatest investment you'll ever make is in yourself. You've been taught well, and now the ball is in your court. It's time to leave our mark on the profession as one pride of locking lines. It's time to show that we belong. The obstacles before you have nothing on the roar within. So let's do this together. Pause up, class of 2021. Congratulations Thank again. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Hello, graduates. Today I have with me Dr. Jennifer Covedo, a valued preceptor from University of Miami Health System. Thank you again for joining me today, Dr. Covedo. It's been a great pleasure knowing you, and I want to just let you know that you've been nominated and selected for Preceptor of the Year Award. Congratulations. Thank you wanted, so much. You're welcome. I wanted to share some of the feedback the students have um, commented to you. So for example, Dr. Covedo always goes above and beyond to make sure she has time to teach and engage with the students. She's always encouraged educational conversations and lead us to enrich knowledge and confidence with ourselves. That's definitely an honor. Thank you so much, Dr. Mazzella. I really appreciate it. And I just want to take a moment to congratulate all the students, um, especially um, this year that it's been very difficult for all of you. And we understand that going through the rotations and, and having a lot of a big portion of your rotations be virtual. I just want you to know that your hard work definitely does not go unnoticed. And we really appreciate and are extremely proud of each and every one of you for all the hard work that you have, have put in, especially during these difficult time. So I just want to thank and congratulate each and every one of you. This means so much to me. And I know I kind of reached out to some of you on a personal level, but I'm extremely proud of you. And I just want you to know that um, getting through this year is just another example of what hard work can really um, get you. And, and I really hope that you guys continue to work hard. And as a preceptor, I hope that you use this as a motivation. So maybe, you know, hopefully one day when you become a preceptor yourself and, and reach out and help the students and always remember, you know, when you were going through it and always make sure that when you are on the other side as a preceptor, you always reach out and, and help the other students as they're going through their pharmacy school because it's definitely not easy and, and I'm extremely proud and you should all be extremely proud of yourselves for getting through this. So again, congratulations. I am extremely happy and I can't thank you all enough for this and I hope we get to celebrate soon. Thank you, Dr. Cavedo, for all your hard work. Thank you. Today, to celebrate with your families and friends.
You've been waiting for this moment for many years. Remember all you have learned and the experience you've gained over the past few years. Congratulations again to each one of you, and may you all succeed in the years ahead. It's been a long road. You have all come to a very important point in your life. Congratulations for uh, achieving this wonderful goal. We look forward to seeing you all become pharmacists and have a different relationship with co-pharmacists with you. Congratulations again. As I've seen each one of you develop through your rotations and you've reached this point, congratulations to all of you. We're really proud of you. Hello, graduates. It has been a pleasure getting to know you over the past three years. I'm thankful I was able to see you all grow in person and virtually over the past year. I wish you all the best successes and hope to hear from you in the future. Best of luck, congratulations, and I'm proud to have you as now a colleague. Dear graduating class 2021 from the College of Biomedical Sciences at Lark University, today I would like to congratulate you for your hard work and dedication on reaching one of your career goals. Today's accomplishment is one step closer. Tomorrow, I promise you, it will be even closer. Keep up the hard work and dedication, and my best wishes as you move along towards your healthcare career and lots of contribution to the well-being of society. Hi everyone, it's Kathy and Suki, and we are here on behalf of the Larkin University Alumni Association. We wanted to send you a huge congrats to the class of 2021. I know this is a huge accomplishment and you should be extremely proud. I know we didn't envision our last year or our last days as pharmacy students this way, but I truly believe that we're never placed with a challenge that we can't overcome or learn from. And I know we learned a lot this past year on our appies from a professional and personal level that we're going to be able to use as our future as pharmacists. I'm excited and proud to call you guys my friends and colleagues. We made it, guys. Hi, this is Dr. Argo, your library director. I would like to congratulate all of you in the class of 2021 for all of your hard work and accomplishing this outstanding step toward achieving your professional goals. I would like to quote Michael Josephson, founder of the Joseph and Edna Josephson Institute of Ethics, who said, Take pride in how far you've come, have faith in how far you can go, but don't forget to enjoy the journey. Congratulations, everyone. Hi, class of 2021. This is your Dean telling you how awesome you are and how proud I am of what you've accomplished. You had a, an interesting year having to take your program on Zoom but you really stepped to the plate. You did an awesome job. I'm so very proud of all of you. Um, please, I can't express how much you have to offer this world. Uh, seize the day, carpe diem. My heartfelt congratulations to class of 2021. I am so proud of you. As you move on to another chapter in your life, remember this, there is no challenge you cannot overcome. No dream too big you cannot obtain. Believe in yourself. Discover your potential and share it with the world. It has been my pleasure and honor to have met each and every one of you. Celebrate this amazing moment of accomplishment in your life. And get ready, because the best is yet to come. Graduates of Lark University, on behalf of all members of the Larkin family, I congratulate and commend you. Today is a day of celebration, but before we close, I would like to reflect for a few minutes on a phrase you have heard just a few moments ago. As each group of students was presented to me for the conferral of degrees, I responded by admitting you to the rights, honors, and responsibilities associated with a degree from Lark University. These rights and privileges bring a responsibility to make good use of your knowledge. Today, you became part of our line of alumni and hopefully take a responsibility seriously and work to make the world a better place. So I ask you now, how will you put your education to use? What will your gifts to the world be? Will you take your board exam with flying colors and be a dedicated pharmacist? or strive for becoming a physician, dentist, researcher, or health professional? Will you be a mentor to others, passionate about communities you will be serving, 
a dedicated ambassador for Lark University, any one of these would be a great legacy. Today, I hope you leave here with a deep appreciation of your time at our university and a strong commitment to put your education, energy, and enthusiasm to good use to make this a better world for succeeding generations. And I hope you will always remember your alma mater, Larkin University, cherish the friends and the memories you have made here in Miami, and remain active as an alumni of our great university. Congratulations and best wishes. We will now listen to an old medieval graduation hymn from the 12th hundred, Gaudiamus Igitur. And I would like to end this ceremony with quoting some of the Latin words in this hymn. Vivat Academia, vivat professores, vivat membrum quod libet semper sint in flore. Long live our university, teachers whom we cherish, long live all the graduates, ever may they flourish. Oh, yeah.